nasty That is probably somewhat of a travesty Having me, then he told the people You can call me your majesty Keep your battery charged He know it won't stick, yo And it's not his fault you kick slow Should've let your trick hold Chick hold your sick glow Plus nobody couldn't do nothing Once he let the brick go And you know I know That's a bunch of snow The beat is so butter Peep the slow cutter As he utter the calm Love flow it. Don't talk about my mom, yo Sometimes he rhyme quick Sometimes he rhyme slow Or vice versa Whip up a slice of nice verse pie Hit it on the first try Villain, the worst guy Spot hot tracks like Spot up here, fat asses Shots of the scotch From out the square shot glasses And he won't stop Till he got the masses And show him what they know Not through flows of hot molasses Do it like the robot To head spin to boogaloo Took a few minutes To convince the average boogaloo It's ugly Like look at you It's a damn shame Just remember all caps When you spell the man name Hey guys, Grumpy here with another episode of Silent Nights. So in the previous episode, we secured a Doom, and now we're going to use that to go ahead and fight some bigger and better bounties. So let's go ahead and jump into the action. So talking to our contact in Port Say, we get another fantastic bounty on offer. Um, two herons should be very easy to rip through, and we get uh, an opportunity to secure a Harbinger as well as two Shades. And here's the bounty. Um, the smaller ships were not any more phase ships. Uh, it's the Tempest and Omen, and then a couple of freighters. The herons are pretty well staffed. Um, nice selection of ships. So tridents, claws, um, daggers, very dangerous. Um, I think though that if we just rush down the herons, um, they sh and get these off the battlefield, uh, this should be no problem. The main flaw in this fleet, uh, well, not really flaw, but the main drawback of this fleet is they use mostly bombers. And once you remove the carrier, the bombers can't rearm. Um, so they become uh, essentially useless. The claws will endure and the broadswords will endure, which will be a little annoying. But um, eventually those two will despawn. And then it's just phase ship versus phase ship. Um, the Tempest and Omen won't really last long on the battlefield. And the Shrike is essentially fodder. Uh, the Shrike has a Heavy Blaster on it, which would be really nice. I would love to add that to uh, our Harbingers. Um, and then, is there anything else that we would like? Oh, there's a Phase Lance on their Harbinger, which I would definitely make use of. And there's an Ion Cannon on the Tempest. So yeah, so a lot of uh, really nice gifts in this bounty. Let's go ahead and move into Engage. And uh, secure our bounty here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put my fleet on full assault. Uh, we have the absolute advantage. Just having this many afflictors is uh, not really fair to the enemy. They don't have antimatter blasters, but even still, with amplified entropy, uh, they can do some serious damage. Um, I will split off two afflictors to go ahead and secure the relays. Um, I don't normally assign much value to collecting relays, but if I have the ships to do so, I might as well. Um, I believe the comm relays increase your command point generation. Nav increases the speed of your fleet, and sensor jammer, I think, reduces enemy ranges. But don't quote me on that. I'd have to consult the wiki. Alright, so that's secured, um, what I'm going to do is grab a handful of ships, grab our antimatter blaster uh, afflictor, and just give them the assault command. Um, no real re reason to beat around the bush here. I'm going to grab my harbingers and spin on the other heron, um, and then Start canceling these orders. Alright, let's go ahead and move into the fight. So, the reason having a Doom is so um, game changing is for instances like this. So, here the Heron um, has a shield that doesn't cover 180%, or doesn't cover the entire ship. It's not a 360 degree shield. 
So when I deploy my mines, which is the Doom special ability, the Heron can either choose to raise its shields to block the mines or take a significant amount of armor and hull damage. Um, so really it's a lose-lose. So if its shields are deflected to block the mines, then it takes damage from the, uh, the rest of my fleet. And then if not, it just gets chunked for so much damage. Oh, yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> uh, poor Flicker. Let's pay attention to ourselves. Uh, we don't want to get destroyed here. Let's use a couple mines to end the fight. Nice try. And the other inflictor is down. We just have to pay attention to the mine, or any residual. Oh, sorry, the other heron is down. We just have to pay attention to any residual missiles on the battlefield. But uh, this fight is already over. So at the loss of one afflictor, I'd say this fight was very successful. Um, let's do it like this. Cancel this command. And, uh, let's rein our ships in. Let's give them purpose. So bold. <laughs> And all that was left was another shade. Let's see if we can watch some of the action. We may lose another afflictor here if it uses its special ability, but we don't. Nice. So, convincing victory. Um, at the cost of one afflictor, this afflictor was lost due to missile spam from one of the herons. To be expected, um, not really much we could do to counteract that. We could have slow played it, but again, we had the advantage. So being aggressive favors us uh, significantly. So earlier I had mentioned farming Syndria for weapons, and this is what I meant. Um, Syndria produces a lot of military fleets. 
Um, these fleets are usually stocked with a capital ship, um, large amount of cruisers, large amount of destroyers, and the ships that they field are usually re very well armed. Um, so if we go ahead and move towards this uh, Dictad detachment, what you can see is like here we have the Conquest. Um, every slot is pretty much filled. Uh, they have ion can they have an ion cannon and an ion pulsar. Or, sorry. Ion Pulsar and Ion Beam, which would be really nice for us to secure. Uh, the Eagle here has like a Phase Lance. Um, the Drovers have Reapers on them. Um, what else we got? What is the Sunder? The Sunder has two Phase Lances, which is really nice there. Um, this Wolf has an Ion Pulsar. This one has a Heavy Blaster. So like, you can see why we want to engage fleets like these. Um, this is where we're going to get the bulk of our weapons from. This is how we're going to make our fleet stronger. Now, this is the first Sindrian, um, Sindrian fleet that I'm fighting. So this initial fight is going to be quite difficult. But uh, based on how much we recover, based on the weapons that we get, subsequent fights should be easier. Um, so let's go ahead and give this a shot. So we'll move into engage. Um, I think the way that we're going to win this is to quickly get the drovers off the battlefield um and then from there maybe get rid of some of these destroyers uh, especially things like these tankier enforcers um if we could just overwhelm them clear them off the battlefield all that'll remain is just a handful of frigates um a conquest and then eagles which shouldn't be too much of a threat well, actually, now that I look at them, they could possibly be a problem. Uh, these eagles having heavy maulers is quite scary. Normally not an issue because you have shields, but uh, face ships, of course, don't have shields. Okay. So after we destroy the enforcers, we may have to pivot over. Or we may have to send people to destroy these eagles as quickly as possible. Uh, we'll see. We'll play by ear. The uh, frigate should get destroyed. Pretty much. Um, like. What is it? Coincidentally. Um, just as part of pursuing some of these larger ships. So we don't really have to worry about those. Oh, the really cool thing. Um, Harbingers counter monitors really well because... Harbingers turn off monitor shields, and if a monitor can't use its shield, it's a piece of tissue paper. It's not going to last. So, um, we may tell one of the Harbingers to destroy the monitor pretty early on if we get the chance. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and engage. Um, we'll have our support afflictors go ahead and take over the sensor jammers. Um, we'll also assign them to a command group. And these will kind of be like our flex units. Um, whenever we need them to harass or escort or something, we can just tap one and just have them jump on whatever tasks we need them to. Everyone else, though, pretty much just do their own thing. I'm going to go ahead and silence my phone. And I think our best bet here, given the density of the enemy fleet, is going to be to try to split them apart. Uh, we'll put you guys in your own group. Uh, these are our antimatter blaster afflictors. I got an antimatter blaster um, in the previous fight. I just didn't notice it. So um, I can I took the antimatter blaster off of one of these harbingers and use it to create a second antimatter blaster afflictor so we'll put you two in your own group uh these two are devastating together they pretty much just whatever i point at they destroy it in seconds and they're so fast um we'll divide the rest of the fleet in half so we'll take you guys make a command group take you guys make a command group and i think what i'm gonna do is just send three to this side and send four to this side 
and see how the enemy fleet reacts. Um, if we can separate them and create like a um, like a local advantage, phase ships are so much more devastating. Um, and in heads on like even battles, phase ships usually lose. But if you even have like a single extra ship, just you're more than likely gonna win that. So let's see where the enemy fleet goes. It looks like they're choosing to barrel down the center. Okay. Nope, looks like they're bearing right. Or bearing left. Um, so what we're gonna do is Get our antimatter blaster group and see if we can't find their drover. Um, so let's push a little farther into the enemy. Uh, looks like this eagle wants to challenge us, which is fine by me. There it is. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get rid of this drover. And I'm assuming the other drover is going to be somewhere back here. Um, we'll assign task group three to go ahead and eliminate this enforcer and hopefully what that'll do is splinter part of the enemy fleet off to go ahead and move in this direction. We'll use task group four to go ahead and eliminate this eagle. And uh, with our support afflictor over here, we will issue, you know, what? let's issue an eliminate command on uh, the wolf. I don't expect this afflictor to kill the wolf, but at least it'll keep the wolf occupied and it can't flank us. Go ahead, cancel these capture orders. We don't really care if the enemy retakes them. Um, and with this support afflictor, we'll issue. You know what? We'll issue a harass command and uh, see if we can get the eagle to turn away from us. Oof, those heavy maulers. They cost nothing to fire and they do so much damage. All right, Trevor should go down soon, yep. See, that's what I was talking about. These guys, just beasts. Um, let's have them eliminate the other drover to get some of those fighters off the battlefield. Again, we want to focus on getting rid of carriers. This eagle should go down pretty soon. We can actually assist with that. Uh, so one eagle off the battlefield, let's go ahead and use task group four to, all right, we can get rid of the hammer on our own. Let's assign group four to go after the enforcer just so they stay in the fight. Let's have you come over here, see if you can get rid of that wolf. Now let's get rid of some of these more annoying ships. Second drover is down. Forcers down. With our next command point, we're going to want to get rid of the eagle. Let's 
So we're going to want group two on the hammer. We're going to want group three on the eagle. And we can change this to eliminate order. Wolf is somehow standing up to two afflictors. Uses the opportunity to get rid of the Sunder. So with the Sunder being pinched like this, uh, the backside of the Sunder being pinched right next to the um, Conquest, the mines that I deploy in here are getting pushed into the Sunder and just really not helping its cause. Oh, let's go ahead and switch over to our Reapers, wait for that overload. Looks like we're not going to get it. Oh, nope, we do get it. Wow, just an embarrassing amount of uh, whiffs there. There we go. That's what it should have been. It's fine. We get rid of the Sunder, no problem. Uh, they're having a tough time dealing with that, which is kind of embarrassing, but it is what it is. Uh, the entire fleet collapsing on this eagle is excessive, but it'll work. Let's go ahead and use our afflictors to get rid of the griffin. No. When we get more command points. Uh, we're going to jump over to one of the Harmagers to get rid of that monitor, and then the rest of this uh, should just be mop up. <laughs> the first thing the AI does is deploy a mine and then charge directly into it. Yeah, that does not pile up the doom very well. Alright, let's go ahead and get rid of the monitor. Oof, fail. Let's just stay in phase space until our uh, quantum disruptor comes back on. Everybody swarm the griffin. She the harass command. And uh, let's try this again. Let's transfer back over to the Doom and uh, get the Afflict off the battlefield, or get the uh, Conquest off the battlefield now. Just issue that, or redo, remove the Harass Command and uh, issue Full Assault. Now this should turn everybody to uh, eliminate all command.
Ah, collateral damage. Took an afflictor out when it exploded. But that should be it. Um, pretty good fight there. Um, just taking the time to separate the enemy. Focusing on creating that advantage, that local advantage. And uh, using the phase ships uh, for their intended purpose, which is to ambush the enemy. Man, I hope we get that wolf. Which weapon do you have? You have the heavy blaster, so actually we don't really care if that wolf gets away. Wolf retreated. That's fine. So, pretty costly sh fight. Uh, yeah, we lost two afflictors there. Um, one has an officer, so it's very likely we'll recover this sh ship. Um, it's a 50-50. Well, it's not actually 50-50, but there's a chance uh, whether or not we'll recover this afflictor. So let's go see. Um, the only enemy fighter that got away, or combat ship that got away was the wolf. Uh, we will pursue it just so that we can increase the chances of getting weapons. So we will pursue them. We'll let our second command handle it just because we're so low CR. Um, it's a bit cheesy. If you were to deploy into this fight, uh, having such low CR, your ships would just kind of dawdle and then eventually explode. Um, but by doing this, the game just simulates what the fight would be using hidden values and uh, spits out a random number. So, uh, we are blessed. We get to recover our both of our afflictors, no problem. Um, I don't see any weapons on these ships that I would want. Yep. Nope. And in difficult recovery... Uh, looks like the ion pulsar is on the conquest, which I'm not going to pay a story point to guarantee. Let's just hope that it rolls uh, in the salvage screen. Man, those heavy maulers fighting that was devastating. Alright, let's go ahead and recover. Uh, 10,000 credits for our troubles. That should cover, you know, the entire cost of engaging. <laughs> we'll pick through the wreckage here. And, uh, yeah, so we do get some nice rewards. We get two Ion Pulsars off of this. We get two Reapers, which is really nice. If we ever do get the opportunity to use Heavy Needlers, we will. Um, needles are really good for bursting down shields, um, especially when you combine them with Phase Anchor because you get to reduce the cooldown of the uh, heavy needler. Some more missiles. Uh, it's pretty nice. And uh, anything else noteworthy? Not really. Decent bit of supplies. Um, won't be enough to fully heal us, but uh, it definitely takes the sting out of it. And yeah, just like that, uh, we get our first victory against Syndria. Um, one of many. So we're gonna go ahead and repair and then come back out here and see if we can't find like a Lion's Guard unit or another detachment to fight. Returning to Syndria, um, we run into a merchant convoy. So not a military convoy like we were looking for, but uh, this convoy is carrying uh, supplies, which we desperately need, and also a nice bit of heavy machinery. Um, it has an atlas, so we will get a ton of supplies for this fight, usually around a thousand plus, um, especially given that we also have some Colossus over here. Should be an easy fight, and then also scouted that the wolf has a phase lance. Um, still chasing those phase lances. Um, I'm bouncing back and forth between using heavy blaster ion pulsers for my harbingers and just going for full phase lances. Um, so still undecided there. Anyway, let's go ahead and take this fight. Should be super easy. And then let's move on to um, Port Say and fishing for more bounties. Let's go ahead and move into engage. Um, honestly, this I didn't even pay attention to what ships they had. I know they had a Dominator, but other than that, I don't really know. Uh, we're just going to deploy all and then full assault. True uh, Art of War Sun Tzu style. Uh, this is very excessive for this fight, but um, should be fun to watch. Um, we can bully the absolutely bully the Dominator. 
Um, if we get an opportunity here to close the distance, we can just begin deploying mines behind them. Looks like the Sunder has an Ion Pulsar um, as well, so we'll be able to take advantage of that. Man, I am terrible with these Reapers. Oh, oh let's let our fleet uh, handle that. I don't know what it is, um, because the Reaper, maybe it's because the Reapers are, um, like, single shot, like, I wonder if I link the Reapers, because I would have two points of reference to aim them, if I'd be more accurate. Anyway, uh, we're definitely gonna pursue them, um, we want to destroy all these com these freighters, uh, just so that we get as many supplies as possible, and uh, we'll let our second command handle this. It's gonna be a pretty easy fight. We can deploy pretty much whatever. Wow. Of all the ships that survived, the slowest and the and the the largest of them make it through. Anyway, let's consider ship recovery. Um nope. And we will not spend a story point on any of this. Let's pick through the wreckage here. We do get an iron pulser, which is pretty nice. Uh, that's what we wanted and then a handful of weapons uh we'll choose to forego the weapons except maybe the pulse laser we might need that in the um harpoons we don't need the auto cannon and uh let's go ahead and grab the supplies we'll do a round trip um drop off everything here and then come back for the rest of this all right uh, but before we do that let's go ahead and get rid of the atlas Yes, there we go. And there's the rest of the supplies. So, alright. Uh, we'll do a couple round trips. You don't need to see this. Alright, see you in a second. Another excellent opportunity here for our bounty. Um, this one, less so about the ships. Or, rather, less so about getting phase ships except for one uh the revenant here is a phase ship freighter um this will solve a lot a lot of our uh, logistical issues so i haven't really emphasized this so much but um the main problem i've been running into is after a fight um, i just have no supplies left um, these ships are very expensive to repair um, phase ships are very delicate in that way and not having not being able to go um round after round of combat is seriously detrimental um hopefully after we win this bounty we get an opportunity to recover the revenant um that would be super helpful if we had one of these in our fleet it would be a very nice quality of life or it'd be a very nice um improvement to our fleet and if we get two of those somehow that would be huge quality of life um but let's go ahead and accept this bounty and I'll see if we get lucky here. Also, the payout is insane. 260,000 credits. I'm not sure why. Uh, probably a lot of these ships have S mods, I would imagine. Which is why the payout is so incredible. Um, I mean, because there's not even a capital ship here. Alright. Let's go engage. Uh, where are they at? Our world. Alright, see you in a second. All right, so here's our bounty. Um, and the reason why the bounty was so high is because each one of these ships has an officer in it. Um, so that's the reason. Uh, level six officers with a level seven officer in the flagship. Um, this can be challenging, but uh, I think we have the advantage here. None of these ships are particularly challenging. Um, the only ones that might pose a threat would be the Eradicator. 
Um, that one just being because it's very tanky and it can fire in all directions, so we might not be able to swarm it. But uh, for instance, like the Falcon's a pretty weak ship. Uh, the Fury, even being a flagship, still, what is that weapon layout? You know, Sabos and Breaches, who cares? And Ion Beam, who cares? Um, the Griffin, not really much of a threat, but I will be happy to get those Reapers off of it. And uh, these Sunders are glass cannons. So the way we'll work this fight is uh, layer by layer. First we'll get rid of the frigates, then we'll get rid of the destroyers, and then finally the cruisers. Um, and at the end of it, hopefully we can retain the revenant. All right, so let's go ahead and move into engage. And we will continue. 129% uh, difficulty considered for the fight. It's interesting. Uh, we'll use our flex group our task group one that we set to capture the flank objectives and then we'll go ahead and move in um same as the uh fight against the Sindrians, we really want to break apart the fleet um create that local advantage and then swarm them down Uh, if we see some easy targets, we can go ahead and take them down. For instance, right, let's grab these three units and go ahead and take down that brawler. Um, we're kind of wasting command points here early, but uh, it might be worth it. We can cancel these capture orders. We don't really need them. Well, while we can, let's get rid of the flagship. The lasher is down. <laughs> that is so excessive. Um, we'll wait until the brawler is destroyed and then we'll micromanage this um basically i want to get rid of these two sunders on the flanks and then with this half of the fleet go ahead and just start um picking the enemy ships down one by one um, basically i'm going to grab all these ships issue an eliminate command get rid of the flagship and then from there uh the fleet should fall over probably save the eradicator for last so we're just waiting on that notification that the brawler is destroyed. Should be any second now. Nice. Brawler is down and it looks like we're actually going to get the... Uh, get the fury down as well. Uh, if we can get the fury down then that'll save us another command point which is why I'm just pursuing it so closely Keep an eye on the rest of our fleet. Mm, that's a problem. All right, let's do this. Uh, that Sunder should be dead. Right, let's go ahead and turn that way. Let's grab our um, antimatter blaster. Antimatter blaster afflictors. Go ahead and tell them eliminate the Griffin. Get that off the battlefield. 
with our Harby. Actually, let's let's clean up these orders. Okay. All right. Maybe not. Um, let's have you two engage the Sunder. Yep. And we'll do it like that. Um, I'll actually change this to an engage order just so they're not being stupid. Um, I want this Harbinger to be careful with this Eradicator on its flank. And then uh, let's go ahead and get back into the fight here. The breaches don't do much damage, but uh, they do a very good job of stripping away our. Um, there we go. Of stripping away our armor. There we go. I just needed it to back into one of the mines. We're not really going to worry about the omen. It is annoying that it's on our flank, but uh, we should be able to deal with it. Again, let's use our. So we'll do it like this. We'll just add more to the Griffin, get it off the battlefield. Um, I'm actually gonna steal Task Group. Uh, I'm gonna steal our two flex units, and um, have them deal with this, Owen, because it's just gonna harass me the entire time. Um, and then we'll have Group Four. Go ahead and deal with that. Annoying omen. Basically, we'll just switch off there. Griffin is down, which is good. Harbinger charges head first into a lasher, which is unusual. Let's get group three to go ahead and eliminate that. Let's get group four to go ahead and work on the eradicator. Our assassins can go ahead and focus on. You know what? Let's have them focus on the lasher. They'll do a better job at that. Then eventually we can use them to take on. Uh, ooh. I'd, actually, I'd really rather not have them there, but it's too late. Oop. Again, we want to put these on the far side. We want to put those on the far side of the Eradicator just so it has to choose between defending its flank or defending uh, the front of the ship. Alright. 
Oh, that's not good. Hmm. I wonder why your CR depleted so quickly. Oh, well. uh, let's go ahead and issue uh, these eliminate orders. Let's have you guys deal with that first. And uh, let's see if we can go save our other ships. Um, kind of want to drag them about halfway. Oh, we are out of command points. I wanted to drag my ships back halfway to uh, give them a little more time. to stay out of the fight you're you're done uh let's just give you the retreat command we'll go deal with this manticore and everything else should be fine now uh, one of our shades got eliminated interesting It just has a mule near. I don't know why it's doing so much damage to us. Don't really appreciate that. Okay, yikes. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm gonna check to see if that officer has energy weapon mastery, but yikes. Um, let's jump in the Harbinger. Stupid maneuvering jets. Right. There we go. That wolf should be done. Let's go ahead and deal with this. deal with the manticore um actually let's end the fight so that we don't lose another um afflictor so we'll claim victory there um paying for three ships is already going to be painful enough let's not pay for a fourth um we will consider ship recovery looks like we do get lucky and we are able to recover all three of our ships um, we won't spend the story point for the Ion Pulsar, though it would be nice. Pick the wreckage here. And we get an Ion Pulsar anyway, so that's pretty good. We get a little bit of supply. Dump the metal. Um, and then we will re-engage them. Just to make sure that we can get the Revenant. Also, we will... Uh, we'll scrap the Fury. I mean, obviously we don't need it. And it didn't have any weapons on it. Uh, let's go ahead and go in here. I'm gonna go with field repairs. Uh, this should alleviate some of the supply issues that we're having. And now let's go ahead and pursue this fleet. Actually, let's. Mm. I should have waited. Uh, having this low CR is really tough. If we disengage, they're going to harry us. It's one, two, three, four ships. We'd have a Harbinger. 
We'd have a doom. All right. Um, the better thing to do here would be to wait. This is kind of dumb, but um, we're basically gonna swarm the Manticore. The omens are really gonna do a lot of damage to us, but hopefully with the Harbingers here, we'll be able to take it down quickly. Uh, and then we'll just go into a pursuit phase and take on the revenants. Um, for this engagement, I think we can stay in the Doom. That's fine. And we will not deploy all. We'll just deploy everything that has high enough CR. Yep. And we have to play this very carefully. Uh, what my harbingers? Oof, yikes. I want the harbingers to focus on the omens. Actually, I want everyone to just focus on this omen. Um, I'll focus on the manticore and just staying out of range of the other two. Thankfully, one mine should do the trick here. So if we do land a mine, uh, that'll be lights out for the enemy fleet. But uh, we have to be careful here because they definitely have a very impressive range. That Mjolnir cannon, ooh boy. Yeah, but if we just go one ship at a time, we should be fine. Use our mines defensively to hold them at bay. Nice. Uh, we'll put everybody on the... Manticore. And then we'll partition the fleet. And then the rest of this should be, yep, pretty much on autopilot. And then we will pursue them. Dangerously low on CR here. But, um... Let's see if we get lucky if all this was worth it. Um... Mm, slim... Very slim pickings here. Go Harvey as well. And we'll risk the doom. Nice! So we get all of them. Uh, consider ship recovery. Ah, uh, was not worth it. Um, we do get the payout for the bounty, 600,000 credits will go a long way. Uh, we can use that to repair our ships with our newly dented hulls. And uh, still, uh, we did get some nice weapons from the fight. So we will carry on. And there will be more opportunities here to uh, recover a revenue later on. Um, all right, see you back in Myasora.
So we're using the first of our mill to restore the doom. Um, none of these are particularly dangerous or particularly detrimental. The only one that actually is it would be structural damage, which reduces the amount of hull and armor that we have. So let's go ahead and restore that. Nice. Next up, uh, we're going to want to restore the antimatter blaster afflictors. And then, uh, since we have enough, we're going to go ahead and restore the other afflictor and then as well as the shade. Um, a lot of you probably are cringing at how much I'm spending on repairs, but given the nature of this campaign, um, we just don't have any use for the money. So why not put it towards uh, repairs? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Um, we got a lot done this time, and I look forward to more conquests in the future. Other than that, Grumpy out. And now I'd like to give a very special thank you to my supporters at the Explorer tier, Mark, Zenlon, and Randall Porter, and at the Starfarer tier, Patrick and Kriltik. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. It means a lot to me. Um, I will continue to run ad-free content on the channel, but if you do wish to support, then considering a membership would be the most direct way. Other than that, grumpy out.